The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about Q50, what little 50 sisters say that his biological mom stole his insurance money and um, decided not to uh, bury him, but decided to get him cremated. Let's jump straight into it. Look, he stopped it, like, because for one, you know, I don't know. I let the internet get to my head too much, like. They be pocket watching me or whatever the case may be. Okay. Oh, uh, Jada, you make this, make that. Why you need to go for me? Cause that. But the thing, what they don't understand is that's not my child. Right. For one. So if I'm, I'm coming out of my pocket for something, I'm taking out of, still, I take care of him. Mm -hmm. And still, I have a whole one year old. Okay. So I'm you're taking a out for the both of them. So you're a mother? Yeah. Okay. So I'm taking out from the both of their pocket too. Even though he passed away, I still got to think about them too because they still in my care and they alive. So like, if I'm just throwing all the money towards 50, what are we going to be left with? It's bills, all type of stuff. Like, it's still stuff that's got to go on in my life that got to get paid for even though he... Funerals were expensive as ever. For like, sure. Real expensive. Like, for sure. The pricing that they was telling us, all type of stuff. Like, But we got like mostly... Um, everything up out of the way, okay, or whatever. But yeah, funeral's expensive. That's why I did that. And then I was having like I was getting into with his mama and stuff like, um. But you know, she the guardian. I didn't have no, I wasn't his guardian, so like she had more power over me now. But shit, I'm still doing everything, right? So I really don't understand. Like she, the only thing she did was. Plan what he's going to do. She's not even burying him, which is bogus because I feel like it's money hungry. Because why you not burying him and you cremating him? That's weird. Well, maybe she don't have the money to bury him. She got the money. That's okay. the thing. We even offered money. I even offered her money. I even offered her money out of my savings. My brother's sisters even offered her money. So it's like the money's not the problem. It's like, and then she told me, he didn't have insurance or whatever case maybe. Right. Come, he do have insurance. So it's like, man, she being money home because you don't got to pay for his funeral. The, he, he died on the city property. So the city is paying for that. So whatever his insurance money, you're going to get that. So that's why I'm saying it's like a lot of money hungry stuff going on. Cause like, if that's the case, you could have been able to buy, buy all his stuff. I had to buy all of his stuff, literally. The only thing she did was plan the funeral, literally. Mm. And mm. barely even that, because she still needed help, still asking me. So, like, I don't understand, like, where I didn't have an input on if he could get buried or cremated. You know, I got to be honest with you. You know, uh, something ain't right with this family dynamic. You know what I'm saying? Um, nobody's family is perfect, though. N not mine's, not yours, not nobody that's watching it. You know what I'm saying? But... When his sister came out and told the story that she was 16 years old and she was taking care of her two younger brothers, some didn't sit right right then and there because if I'm a, a parent, you know, which I am a parent, you know what I'm saying? There's nowhere in the world that my kids is going to be living on their own at 16, 15, and 12. It's just no way in the world that that would ever happen. You know what I'm saying? It's nowhere in the world she should have had her own house at 15, 16, whatever you want to call it. He should have never been stand with his sister at 12 years old because when you got pretty much a young lady that's trying to figure out her life and trying to raise herself, but she's trying to raise two younger brothers, that was an impossible mission. And I don't knock her for what she did in life, you know, because she got them this far. You know, she pretty much sacrificed her personal money and personal time to try to raise them the best way that she could. But in a city like Chicago, you know, stand with your sister. I'm pretty sure he had a lean, you know, I'm pretty sure he was able to do what he wanted to do versus if he was staying with his parents. You got to think his sister, 16 years old, you know, if he moving around or doing whatever he doing, however, you know what I'm saying? How is she going to tell him anything? You know what I'm saying? Even later on down the line, you know what I'm saying? Because I think he passed away at like 15 or 16. So that would have made her like, what, 18 or 19? 
Like she can't keep keep him in the house and keep him on the right track. He's a grown man. You know what I'm saying? If he want to go do this, he going he gonna to buck up and go do it. But it was the responsibility for the parents to step in because there's nowhere in the world that a 15, 16 year old child should be getting into some of the stuff that we seen that man Q50 getting into from 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 the 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 music videos with those type of weapons to them riding in SRTs and 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 and, and, and Q50 um uh, infinities all of that and I'm not the smartest man in the world but nine times out of ten those were in their cars you know what I'm saying because if you could pay or you could ride around in an SRT that's like a a hundred thousand or close to a hundred thousand dollar car right there. Come on, man. Them dudes ain't got that type of money to be riding in them type of cars. You know what I'm saying? But you got to do what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure he wanted to get his own money, make his own bread. He probably got tired of, you know, stressing his sister out. You know, she got a daughter, so he wanted to make his own money, you know. But I just feel like guidance and father figures play a key role and essential in a young black man's life. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you need your parents more than ever when you going through the stages of 14 through 18, 19. You need your parents. And the fact that, you know, she was 16 years old, taking to her two, two younger brothers, man, that's that's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you can't tell somebody how to bury their child, you know, so I'm not even going to really get into that that dynamic. But she pretty much is accusing her of uh, pretty much taking the cheap ride, cheap ride out, you know, uh, for not really want to invest in, 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 in a real funeral, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, that's her child. She had him for nine months. However, she decided to, you know, send him off to a second life. You know, that's on her. You know, um, I would, you know, send it, send, send my child out the best way possible. You know, I'm not thinking about saving money. I'm thinking about sending my child out the best way possible. But you never know if she don't want certain people at the funeral. You never know if she just don't uh, scared of retaliation. You just never know what's going through her head. You never know if she feels some type of way. Did she feel guilty that, you know, she didn't play a central role in the last years of his life? You never know what's going through her mind. But at the end of the day, that's a mother. And you got to really watch what you say and watch how you judge a mother that's going through a grieving situation like that, because none of us is perfect. Um, a lot of us had had a lot of kids young, long, young and stuff like that. You know, so a lot of times you're learning as you're going, you know, and that may cause you to make Sometimes good decisions and sometimes poor decisions, you know, but you just live and you learn, you know, maybe how she going to raise her younger child is going to be different how she raised the other one. You just never know. But I love y'all, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. But it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth, man. I say the kids, man. I say the future. Um, and uh, my condolences go out to Q50 with little 50 family, you know, um, but I love I love everybody, man. Appreciate y'all for tapping in with me. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media, you feel me? <laughs>